Rockers, Eric Andres with your Guitar Sage and today we're going to learn what I call a harpsichord technique or mpapa. What are you talking about? I'll show you. Um, it's for songs that are in three or six. What do I mean by that? I'm gonna tell you. Songs that are in six are like one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Or songs that are in three are one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Traditionally known as a waltz. And unlike songs that are in four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, bam, ba -na -na. not a waltz. Ba -na 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 -na. Get it? So, not that, but songs that are in six. One, two, three, four, five, six. How's it going? That's a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Well, let's take that song for example. I have a video on it too. If you haven't seen it already, go look at it. Hallelujah by Rufus Wainwright. Originally done by Leonard Cohen. Uh, but so let's say let's take that tune for example. If we wanted to instead of doing the, instead of doing that arpeggio type of sound, we could do this type of thing. I'm going to show you. By the way, the fingering technique that I'm talking about here is covered in ebook D. That's two in Spanish. I don't know. Um, and so it's covered in that, and we're using thumb, first, second, and third finger, or P I M A for you classical players. You know this already, though. And so if I'm, let's say I'm playing a C chord, I'm going to thumb on the one and hit the treble strings on two and three. Thumb on four. Who's texting me? Britney Spears. May I come over for a little lovin'? So immature. Anyhow, where was I? She distracts me, Britney. Spears, that is. It's texting me. Not really. Okay, so, um, right, so thumb on the one and the four. Trebles on two and three, five and six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. So hitting the thumb on one and four, hitting the trebles on two and three, five and six. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, or one, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll put together one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And sped up. Gives a nice little waltz sound, so. progression now but you get the idea okay so the thumb always plays the bass note or nine times out of ten it's going to play the bass note of the of the tune and then you'll play either inside of the chord or outside of the chord um, just depending on what you want to do okay that's what I call the har harpsichord technique um, there you go that's it if you haven't already hit subscribe if you haven't already go to your guitar stage get ebook two if you want to know more about finger picking Goodbye.